Yeah, it'll happen to us too, if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it. So we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place, and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire, so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Willie told me she was back, but I was like, no way! Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh! Would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep! His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. <sighs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... I guess I didn't realize how long it's been, how much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day, or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Are you okay? 
It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place, but it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vice says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. You first, Mitch. No. See, because the people back home want me to survive this little trip. Let's just get the stuff we need. Okay? Just go. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Some mushrooms are edible. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. 
for what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Okay, let's see what's inside. Rose! What's going on? You all right? We well, had a scare, that's all. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God. She looks. You can barely recognize her. She's just, just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just, there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can. I'll take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. Bunch of kids who... No one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. <sighs> Let's hope there's gas in it. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, perfect. Uh, here. Good find. We got the propane. Now if we could just find something to create a spark. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. It's the last thing we need to blast those motherfuckers to hell. We should get back and tell the others. Not until we bury Ms. Martin. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. I'll put a stone in the graveyard, back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death, assholes won't know what hit them. Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? Lewis? I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. I should go. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me. 
And he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. Medicine. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way. Why he wanted us gone. I don't. I was right. I know, kiddo. People are complicated. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice, but I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. That plant looks scary. Oh, it is. It's a fly trap. It eats bugs. A plant can eat bugs? <laughs> That's so, so awesome. Wonder how long it'll last. That's a weird plant. It's a fungus. A fungus? Doesn't look fun. This one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, huh, yeah. But it would still look good on you. Hey, look! It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. <sighs> I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. Hmm, this one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with a light. I'll blow it out in a second. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries... <sighs> Bang. <laughs> <laughs>